Hey guys, good morning and happy Tuesday. We're gonna keep going on with our lesson on our double O friends. Do you guys remember their names? The guys we met yesterday? The Boot and Foot Twins, very good. So we have been focusing this week on the Boot Twin. Can you tell me what sound the Boot Twin makes? Good, and remember the sentence that we used to remember that ooh sound is, ooh, I have your boot. Can you guys say that with me? Ooh, I have your boot. Good, we're gonna look at two review sentences today. These are actually our word detective sentences. And you guys will probably remember when we were back at school, I would project our word detectives up on the projector screen and I would call you up a few at a time and I would have you read the sentence for me and then I would have you mark some of the word family. So obviously we have to do it a little different since we're at home. I've written the first word detective sentence on a piece of paper. We're gonna read it together. I'm gonna read it for you the first time. The second time, we're gonna read it together out loud. The third time, you're gonna read it by yourself. Then we're gonna look at some of the word families and we're gonna mark some of them because we are word detectives. So I'm gonna read it for you the first time. All right, ready? You can follow along as I read. This afternoon, a moose got loose at the zoo. Good, now this time read it with me out loud. This afternoon, a moose got loose at the zoo. Good, now this time read it by yourself out loud. Good job, guys. The first thing we're gonna be looking for is our boot twin. What sound does the boot twin make again? Ooh, good job. So let's go ahead and look through the sentence and look for ooh sounds, that double O that says ooh. And we're actually gonna draw a boot above it if we see that. All right, let's look at our first word. This. Do you see any double O's here? No. Afternoon. Do you see that? Noon. I see that double O. It's the boot twin saying ooh. So I'm going to draw a boot right there. This afternoon, a moose. Double O boot twin. Going to draw another boot right there above it. This afternoon, a moose got loose. Ooh. Do another boot. Loose at the zoo. There's another double O. It's the boot twin, O-O. Oh, oh. Draw that boot. All right, go ahead and look over that and make sure we didn't miss any. The next thing we're gonna look for is silence. Remember, silent E sometimes is just at the end of a word. It could be a magic E. Sometimes it's just an E that likes to hang out. Sometimes it's a vase prop E. Remember, that holds up Vicky Violet so her vase doesn't spill over and dump out the water. But sometimes it's just an E that doesn't make a sound. So let's go and look. And when we see a silent E, we're going to draw a line through it to show that it doesn't make a sound. This afternoon, a moose... Do we hear that E say anything? No, it's not moose or moose -y. It's just moose. So I know that E is silent. So I'm going to do a line through it like this to show that it doesn't make a sound. All right. This afternoon, a moose got loose. There's another one. That E's not making a sound. So I'm going to just mark through it. Loose at the zoo. All right, make sure we didn't miss any silent E's. Good job, guys. We're gonna do one more, but this time I'm gonna write the sentence. I want you to copy the sentence on a piece of paper, and then I want you to go through and do my boots and go ahead and be my word detective. So let me write this next one.
All right, friends, I'm going to read it for you the first time. We're going to read it together. Then you're going to read it by yourself. Then I want you to pause the video, copy the sentence down on your own piece of paper, and be a word detective and write your boot above your ooh boot twin sounds, okay? I'm going to read it to you first. If the food is too hot, blow on your spoon. Good. Now read it with me. If the food is too hot, blow on your spoon. Good. Now read it by yourself. Good job. So go ahead and pause the video. Copy this sentence using a capital letter at the beginning. Spaces between your words. Don't forget this comma here end with a period and use nice neat second grade handwriting because you guys are only a couple weeks away from being second graders which is crazy so use nice neat handwriting go ahead and look through and draw your little boot just like i did here above your boot twin sounds all right after you finish this you can pick another word work activity to do today to practice your words sentences three times each word ladders look say cover right you guys know the drill so I can't wait to see your work. Make sure you do this and your word work activity. Have an awesome Tuesday, you guys.